Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wabishshal sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni 'ilma. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altahu sahla. Wa anta taj'alul hazna idha shayta sahla. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum. Um, I welcome you all to our <coughs> Al-Arabiya to Bayna Yadayk. Arabic between your hands, insha'Allah ta'ala. <coughs> we will continue from where we left off. Uh, we were doing the second lesson. The second lesson. The second unit as such, Al-Wahdatu Thaniya. Al-Wahdatu Thaniya. <coughs> We were in the second lesson, Al Wahda Al Thaniya, and we were doing some <coughs> uh, of the exercises, right? So I hope you have revised it, inshallah. Ya Qadau refers to reading, Yusalli. We've learned four verbs as such, right? There were four verbs which we have learned. Yeah, Yusalli, he prays, <coughs> Ya Tawadda, he does wudu, and Ya he, he reads. Three, three verbs. Yaqada and uh, for the feminine we will say taqada taqadau yaqadau taqadau right yaqadau taqadau yusalli tusalli so all the various phrases in the lesson are in this mulakhasit tarakib mulakhasut tarakib mulakhas the summarized uh, structures yeah so we can practice everything comes in one paper one page whatever the phrases were spoken in the unit right uh al-mi'atafu where is the coat yeah where is the coat mi'ataf refers to mi'ataf refers to the coat mi'ataf ayna al-mi'ataf where is the coat ayna al-nadhara where where is the where are the glasses yeah the spectacles ayna al-nazara nazara glasses or spectacles ayna sa'id where is Saeed? Aina Saida. So when you want to ask where is something or someone, we use Aina. Right? We use Aina. <coughs> Aina. Aina, which means where is someone or something? Aina. Right? Aina Muhammad. Where is Muhammad? Aina. Aina Zaid. Where is Zaid? In a similar way. Yeah? Like uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had asked the. Uh, the girl, uh, uh, the servant girl, the slave girl was asked, Aina Allah, where is Allah? Yeah, and she replied, Fis Sama, in the heavens. Uh, then the Prophet said, A'tiqha fa innaha mu'mina. Hmm? Free her, for indeed she is a believer. Right, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not everywhere physically. Yeah. <coughs> Only his knowledge. He is sumastawa ala al arsh. He is istawa on the arsh. <coughs> He's, he has risen up on the arsh. Although common Muslims, if you ask them, where is Allah? They will reply, he is everywhere. Although that's wrong and that's not the aqidah of Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. Yeah. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Awahman. Awahman wa ala al arsh istawa. Right. Okay, Ayn Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Fissama. Okay, Ayna, Ayna. Man, the first question in our graves, which will be Man Rabbuk. So, similarly, we can ask Man Haza, who is this? Man Hazihi. If it refers to a feminine person, we say Man Hazihi, who is this? Hmm? The meaning is the same, yeah? Haza is for Hada is for masculine. Hadi Hazi is for feminine. The meaning is both are this. This who is this who is this? 
Man anta, who are you? Man anti, who are you? If similarly here, these two are similar. Man anta and man anti. Right? Who are you and who are you? Man hua, who is he? Third person. Who is he? And man hia, who is she? Who is she? Man hua, man hia. Right? Man hua, man hia. So these are the questions which you can ask. Man. Hmm? Man nabiyuk, man rabbuk. Who's your lord? Who's your messenger? Right? Man hadha, man hadhihi. Man anta, man anti. Man hua, man hia. Alright? Man hua, man hia. <clears throat> okay. This is man. And then huwa yatawadda. These are the three verbs which we learned. Huwa yatawadda. He is doing wudu. Yatawadda'u refers to doing wudu. Huwa yusalli. He is praying. Huwa yakhadaw. He is reading. Right? So yatawadda'u doing wudu. Yusalli praying. Yakhadaw. Yaqadaw, reading, right? Yaqadaw is reading, reading. Okay, huwa yatawadda, huwa yusalli, huwa yaqadaw. Now, how do you say she is doing wudu? She is praying, she is yaqadaw, uh, she is reading. So we use ta, ta in the big beginning. So ya, yeah, if you find it the beginning, that means he is doing something, generally, yeah? He is doing something. If she is doing something, well, how do you say? Ta. You see a ta here. Yeah. You just change the ya to a ta. The dots below are brought onto the top and it is made into a ta. Tatawaddao. Hiya tatawaddao. She is doing wudu. Hiya tusalli. She is praying. Hiya taqra. She is reading. Yeah. So these are the three verbs. So anytime you see these verbs, you should be able to identify them. That this means, this is tawadda'a, which means to do wudu. The word wudu, the root word is wudu. Yeah? Wudu, the master of it is, the ismul master actually is wudu. Yeah? And yusalli <coughs> comes from salat. Yeah? You see, salat, yusalli. And qara'a, qara yaqra'u refers to reading. Similarly, for feminine, we use a ta. Okay? Use a ta. So, huwa yustawadda, huwa yusalli, huwa yaqra, hiya tatawadda, hiya tusalli, hiya taqra. She is reading, she is, she is praying, she is reading, and she is doing wudu. Next, sa'idun fil masjid, eh? fi. Now, this combination means fi refers to in. And we learned before that the word, the preposition in refers to <coughs> uh, refers to in i mean the, the word after a preposition becomes kas maksur yeah it, it has a kasra so anytime you find fi 99 percent of the time if the word is uh, having alif lam or without alif lam also what happens it gets a kasra that's why this is called halful jar yeah this is called a preposition this is called a preposition for example saeedun fil masjidi saeed is in the masjid yeah, is masjidi. See, this is how we pronounce. But because we are stopping, we have a full stop here. We can say Saidun fil masjid. And this is Saidun, okay? Because generally speaking, the masculine names have tanween. I mean, any word, if there is no alif lam to it, if there is no alif lam, it has tanween, tanween. Yeah? Saidun. Saidun fil masjidi. Said is in the masjid. Saidun fil musalla. Now, this word you don't find. Uh, a kasra here because this word is ending with a ya. This is called alif maqsura, yeah? and it will be difficult to pronounce like fil musallayi. So that's why they left it like that. Fil musalla. Saeed is in the musalla, the prayer hall. Saeedun fil ghurfati. Saeed is in the room. Ghurfa refers to the room. Saeedun fil hammami. Saeed is in the bathroom, washroom. Saeedun fil hammami. Saeedun fil Hamma me. Okay, this is how it is. And then Saida too. Now, feminine names do not take Tanween. They do not take. They have only one Dhamma or one Fatha yeah, or one Kasar. Saida too, fil Masjidi. Saida too, fil Musalla. Saida too, fil Ghulfati. Saida too, fil Hammami. Notice 
the general rule is that this should be masjidu yeah with a dhamma Mus- musalla doesn't happen anything ghulfatu hammamu just because this fee came right this fee came this brought the dhamma into a kasra this became a kasra right so anytime you see a fee or min or ila yeah so many 17 prepositions are there if you if you know all of these what happens after these these prepositions the word goes into a kasra it becomes majroor the word for the kasra the zair is called majroor this word is in the state of majroor not madfur madfur refers to the dhamma sign right and we did this before fil masjidi fil musalla fil ghulfati fil hammami okay this is the fourth one the fifth one hadha huwa al mi'taf now hadha huwa al mi'taf refers to here is the court or this is the court like you've been searching something and you want to say here it is or here's here's the court here's the court yeah you want to hand over the court hadha huwa al mi'taf hadha huwa al masjid here's the masjid or this is the masjid hadha huwa al musalla this is the musalla the place of prayer hadha huwa al musalla so this is how you do and for feminine what do you use you do use hazihi you want to use hadha for feminine right hadihi hiya an nadara here are the glasses hadihi hiya al muhandisati here is the engineer feminine engineer is called muhandisa hiya al muhandisatu right hadihi hiya al muhandisatu hadihi hiya al tabibatu right here is the feminine doctor hadihi hiya al tabibatu right this is how we keep doing hadihi hiya al tabibatu okay then the next thing hadha walidi this is my father ammar right hadha walidi so you notice we have an attached pronoun to this this is called ya ul mutakallim like if i want to say this is mine i say kitabi yeah my father how do you know it's my father because of the ya at the end at the end okay hadha walidi this is my father ammar hadha waliduhu this is his father how do you say his you add a ha at the end you add a ha at the end hadha waliduhu right hadha waliduhu ammar this is his father not mine not mine his father similarly hadha jaddi this is my grandfather grandpa right hadha jaddi how do i say his you add a hu so like rabbi is my lord rabbuhu his lord you add a hu hadha jadduhu ammar this is his uncle ammar uh, this is his grandfather ammar and similarly ammi hadha ammi ammar this is my uncle ammar and this is his uncle right ammuhu ammar hadha ammuhu ammar hmm, so similarly hmm. it will take time inshallah don't worry just understand what's happening here walidi waliduhu right my 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 father and his father and right. similarly hazihi walidati this is my mother hazihi walidatuhu this is her mother not mine her mother hazihi jaddati amina this is my grand grandmother amina hazihi jaddatuhu this is her grand mother right amina jaddatuhu right so we add a ta right ta hazihi ammati this is my aunt amina this is her aunt ammatu i mean his aunt sorry this his his aunt walidatuhu yeah don't get confused yeah his aunt his mother and his grandmother right it's not her walidatuhu jaddatuhu ammatuhu for her ha yeah we use ha for her yes walidatuha jaddatuha ammatuha okay huwa tabibun the next thing is seventh one huwa tabibun he is a doctor huwa mudarrisun he is a teacher huwa muhandisun he is an engineer huwa talibun he is a student hiya tabibatun so how do you make feminine you just add a ta a ta marbuta at the end tabibatun so tabibun became tabibatun feminine mudarrisun became mudarrisatun hiya yeah she hiya refers to she she is a teacher hiya muhandisatun it became feminine again muhandisun engineer female engineer here talibatun student female student right this is how you make feminine that's it that's that's all we learned in the second unit right alhamdulillah
al-aswat wa fahm al-masmu' so this this exercise is all about the <coughs> letter ain 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 yeah ain istama'at so these are the words so you should and just for you know so that you get a correct pronunciation of ain right Uh, this is Omar. There's a name Ammar. Alaykum Abdullah. Right? Al Abbas. Ammuhu. His uncle Saadun. So you should not confuse it. The sign with with a Hamza. With a Hamza. This is Alim and this is Alim. Atat. Atat. Arduha. Arduha. Right? Asir. Asir. Atau. Atau. Alama. Alama. يعمر يأمر وعد وأدى يعود يؤود سأل سأل تعلمون تعلمون سؤال سؤال جاء جاء أجزاء 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 إرجاء إرجاء جزاء جزاء يقرع يقرع so this is همزة آ sound the normal آ sound and this is Ain sound, yeah, epic lotus or whatever. Okay, so these are the verses for practice. For inna ma'al usri yusra, inna ma'al usri yusra, and indeed, inna refers to indeed, indeed, with ma'a refers to with. Yeah, this is like uh, an adverb, zalf, with, and the word after it goes into kasra. You see, ma'a. Mal usri yusra. Indeed, with difficulty, there's ease. Uh, usri refers to with ayin, refers to difficult. Yusri refers to ease. So we have names of sisters who put the names as yusra, right? Yusra. Yusra refers to ease. In namal usri yusra. So this is like a repetition. With difficulty, there's ease. Fala ta'ajal alayhim in nama na'uddulahum adda. Fala ta'ajal alayhim. Don't. Uh, be hasty towards them, yeah. In the man, naudulahum adda. We are counting for them numbers or something, yeah. Naudulahum adda. They have limited number of days. Amma yatasa alun. What are they asking you about? Uh, asking each other. Amma yatasa alun. Anin nabi aladim. They are asking about the great news. An hazim. Yeah, these colored ones are ain. قال ربي عوزعني أن أشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علي وعلى والدي. yeah this is Suleiman al Islam he makes he makes a dua. قال ربي عوزعني عوزعني is like make me enable me or something. أن أشكر نعمتك التي that I أشكر make شكر be thankful of your نعمة نعمتك التي those favors favors yeah نعمة أنعمت علي you have bestowed upon me. Anamta, yeah. Aliya. Aliya refers to on me. Wala walidaya and on my parents. Kulya ayuhal kafirun. La abdu ma ta'abdun, wala antum abdun ma abdu, wala ana abdun ma abdtum, wala antum abdun ma abdu. Lakum dinukum, walya din. So many ains, yeah. Kulya ayuhal kafirun. Oh, who, who of you who disbelieve? Oh, you who disbelieve, yeah. Ayuha is like you who disbelieve. La abudu ma ta'abudun. I do not worship. Abudu is like I do not worship. How do you know I? You see a Hamza here. I do not worship. And you worship this ta. So ta could be second person and it could be feminine also, like we learned before. Taqrawu, tusalli. Right? But this is like uh, the plural one, the abudun, because we have a vow here. That means you don't, you all don't worship. Yeah? You all do. Ma ta'abudun. Wala antum and you. Antum is like you all, abiduna, and you all are not worshippers. Abiduna, ma abud of what I worship. Wala ana abidum ma abatum, and I'm not a worshipper of what you all worship. Wala antum abiduna ma abud, and you all are not worshippers of what I worship. Lakum dinukum, walia din. Lakum is like for you is your religion, and for me is mine. So these these are all ains. That's it. So just for the sake of pronunciation of ain. Which many people find it difficult to pronounce if they don't practice it enough. Ain is like very difficult to pronounce. 
ain uh, comes out like uh, uh, the hamza okay like the word uh, the name masud yeah in colloquial is like masud masud it's actually masud amir the word in the name amir it's actually amir ain but we don't pronounce assalamu alaikum become assalamu alaikum or something like that okay al wahdatu thaniya dars al 15th yeah khamsa tashara fahm al masmu so there'll be words in the audio and we just need to identify like this would be like yatawadda and this will be like yusalli we just need to identify which one is it let's listen to the audio let's listen to the audio inshallah الاسره الدرس العاشر ثانيا فهم المسموع التدريب الاول استمع ثم ضع علامه صحيح في المربع المناسب واحد يصلي اثنان So the first one is yusalli, is this this one here? Yeah? Yusalli. This is first one. Yatawadda. Yusalli. He's praying. These are like just this for vocabulary purposes because you might forget, so they keep repeating the vocabulary again and again. Ibna. Ibna. You can't hear voice. Um, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Click on the microphone and. dial wire device audio okay ibna ibna is like daughter yeah daughter this is like um let's listen to the next one thalatha um 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 this one's um yeah this one's um so let's put a tick mark here um this one's um This one box. Next one. Arba. Arba. Fourth. Jed. Jed. Grandfather is this one. Yeah. Very easy. If you memorize the vocabs, it'll be very easy. And this is Am. This is the uncle. Okay. Khamsa. Musalla. Musalla. This is the Musalla. This is Jedda, and this is the Musalla. and the last one sitta sitta am 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 is like this guy yeah that's this guy am am is like the uncle am okay am that's it very easy next exercise same exercise again i guess and more sets of vocabs at tadrib athani istama istama ثم ضع علامة صحيح في المربع المناسب واحد the first one هذه شجرة so هذه شجرة this is a tree شجرة refers to the tree yeah هذه شجرة next this is what هذه أسرة right أسرتي this is my family أسرتي so this is شجرة شجرة refers to the tree اثنان هذا جدي عمر. This is my grandpa Umar. So this is the one. This is جدتي grandmother. Right. Grandmother. ثلاثة. أحمد في الغرفة. أحمد في الغرفة. أحمد is in the room. أحمد في in غرفة. In the room. This is أحمد in the room. هذه سورة عمي هذه سورة عمي. This is the picture of my uncle. عمي. Not ابنتي. عمي. So this one is the correct answer. Right? This one is the correct answer. 
the last one. Let's go to the last. Sit. هذه عمته زينب. هذه عمته زينب. So can anyone reply which one? This one or this one? <coughs> the first or the second? First is like from the right. This one or this one? This is the first one and the second one. <coughs> The second one, Barakallah. Hadihi Ammatu Zainab. Yeah? Zain. Ammatu. You see, you, if you can listen properly, it, it's like it's not Ammuhu, it's Ammatuhu. Okay? That's it. Hadihi. And we used Hadihi. Why did we use Hadihi? Because for feminine, we have to use Hadihi. Even though we want, we want to say this. Yeah? So that's why Arabic is very tricky to speak. Uh, in the sense that you might get confused between Hada and Hazi and all the time you have to think. Uh, is that thing or the person I'm referring to, is it male or feminine? And you have to be very specific about it. You can't just say Hada for male and for feminine. For both, you can't use Haza. You have to use Haza for masculine and for Hazi, feminine. Similarly for the verbs and stuff. Okay, this is okay. Next exercise, the same thing. You just need to find out which picture is this audio talking about التدريب الثالث استمع ثم اشر الى الصوره المناسبه من هذا هذا عمي عادل هو مدرس اهلا وسهلا اين خديجه اوكي من هذا هذا عمي whatever Adnan or something you said who are mudarris he's a teacher so this one this one is the answer yeah dal I guess right because this is someone's reading the Quran and this is Khadija I guess so, and this is they are praying so this one is the correct answer next audio please Khadija to fil musalla so I hope you're understanding Khadija is in the musalla she is praying. Here to Sally. Where is Ammar? Ammarun fil masjid. Okay, that's the next audio, guys. Khadija is like this one. Khadija is tun fil musalla. Here to Sally. Khadija is in the musalla. She is in the musalla and she is praying. Yeah, Khadija is in the musalla and she is praying. Next one is Aina Ammar, who are fil masjid. Yeah, Jim, Nam. And Aina Ammar, who are fil masjid. Okay. Aina Yamal, where is Ammar? Who are filled masjid? He is in the masjid. Yaqra ul Quran. He is reciting the Quran. This one, yeah. Man hadihi. Man hadihi. Who is this? Hadihi ummi Fatima. Hadihi ummi Fatima. He is a tabiba. Man hadihi. Who is this? This is my mother, ummi. Alif, yeah. This one. Okay. So. Yeah, Tabiba, she's, she's a dog. التدريب الرابع. Next one. استمع ثم ضع علامة صحيح في المربع المناسب. So these guys will pronounce three, three words. We'll say three words. And we just need to find out which one, which of these picture, pictures is the correct one. واحد. أحمد في الغرفة. اثنان. Uh, what? Wahid Ahmadu fil Oh, you should go vertically. Ahmadu fil So this is the correct answer. Ahmad is in the room. You should go vertically. Ahmadu fil Okay, next word. Next uh, next sentence. Huwa talib. Huwa talib. Which one is it? This one. He's a student. Huwa talib. He's a student. Salatha. Hada Jaddi. This is my grandpa. Where is the grandpa? This is the grandpa. Arba. Hadihi Usra. Hazihi Usra. This is a family. Family, where's the family? Usra. Family is here. Family. Family time. Khamsa. Hadihi Bnati. Now which one is this? Hazihi Bnati. 
Can anyone say the first, second, or third? Adi <coughs> Hibnati. This one or this one or this one? The Alif Naam. The first one is the correct answer. It's the first one. Who wants to be a millionaire? Or oh, in Arabic vocabs. Okay. The last one. Sitta. Sitta. Hadihi Muhallima. Hadihi Muhallima. Hadihi Muhallima. Who's the Muhallima here? She's the Muhallima. Simple. The Ba. Naam. That's it. This is our vocabs again. <clears throat> this is our vocabs. Al Kalam. The next part is about uh, speaking. So it's like practicing speaking about it. Uh, the speech. We should practice some speech. Tabadil is sual wal jawa ma'azamilik kama fil misal. Exchange uh, the question and answer with your colleague. <clears throat> with your colleague as in the example. So if you have a colleague, you can practice with them, right? Al-Misal, Aina Ahmad, where is Ahmad? Ahmad fil masjid yusalli. Ahmad is in the masjid, he's praying. Yeah, Ahmad fil, uh, fil masjid yusalli. This is how you look at the picture. For example, they've given here, Ahmad masjid yusalli. Hmm? Ahmad, where is he in the masjid? What is he doing there? He's praying. So, Aina Fatima, where is Fatima? So you can, one, one, Talib one. This is Ta one refers to the first student ask a question. Where is Fatima? And uh, the second student replies, Ahmadu fil masjid yusalli. Looking at the second sentence. If you don't have a friend, you can practice in front of the mirror. Yeah? Aina Fatima, where is Fatima? Uh, Fatima tu fil musalla. Uh, Fatima to fill musalla. Fi, fi, in, in the musalla. What is she doing there? To salli. She is praying. To salli. Because Fatima is feminine, so we use to salli instead of you salli. You becomes to. Right? You salli to salli. She is praying. And musalla is the prayer hall, or whatever, prayer place. Uh, Aina Badr. Where is Badr? Badrun or Badr. Where is Badr? Badrun fil bayti. Badr is in the house. What is he doing there? In the house? Yatawadda. Yatawadda. He is doing wudu. Yatawadda. Aina Zainab. Where is Zainab? Right? You have been searching for Zainab. Where is she? Zainabu fi fil ghurfa. She is in the room. Zainabu fil ghurfa. Taqra'u al-Qur'ana. What is she doing there in the room? Taqra'u al-Qur'ana. Instead of yaqra'u, we use taqra'u. Right? Taqra'u. Ata. Okay, next one. Aina Adil. Where is Adil? Adilun. Yeah, or Adilu fil masjidi. Adil is in the masjid. Yaqra'ul Quran. He is read, reciting the Quran. That's it. You just need to practice these phrases. Aina Ahmad. Ahmad fil masjid. Yusalli. Aina Fatima. Fatima tu fil musalla. Yusalli. Aina Badr. Badrun fil bayti. Yatawadda. Aina Zainab. Zainab fil ghulfati. Taqra'ul Quran. Aina Adil, Adilu fil Masjidi, Yaqra'u al Quran. That's it. The same thing again. Uh, first student says, Assalamu alaikum. The second, Wa alaikum salam. Ma hadihi, what is this? You found something strange. So he says, Hadihi suratu akhi. This is the picture of my brother. Wa muhandisun. He's, a, he's an engineer. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. So similarly, you ask, What is this? Whose picture is this? Whose picture is this? Whose picture is this? Let's see. Assalamu alaikum. The second student says, Wa alaikum salam. Ma hadihi. So the first three questions remain the same. Ma hadihi. Hadihi surah to ukhti. This is the picture of my sister. Right? Hua muhandisun. Hiya tabibatun. We need to change the hua to hiya because this is my sister, right? Hiya tabibatun. She's a doctor. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Next one, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. Ma hadihi, what is this? Hazihi suratu walidi. This is the photo of my father. And what is he do? He's a, huwa muallimun. He's a teacher. Huwa muallim. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. Ma hadihi, hadihi suratu ammi. This is the photo of my, this is a picture of my uncle. Huwa tabib. He's a doctor. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Ma hadihi. 
هذه سورة سورة ابني This is the photo of my son هو طالب He's a student ما شاء الله ما شاء الله That's it So this is how we practice all the phrases السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ما هذه هذه سورة أخي Then the next one هاتي جملا كما في مثال Give some make some sentences هذا والدي علي This is my father علي هو مهندس He's a He's an engineer. هذا والدتي خديجة. This is my mother خديجة. هي طبيبة. Yeah, you should be careful. هي طبيبة. She is a doctor. هذا أخي سعيد. This is my brother سعيد. هو معلم. He's a معلم. He's a teacher. هذا أختي سعيدة. This is my sister سعيدة. She هي معلمة. She is a teacher. معلمة teacher. هذا ابني بدر. هو طالب. This is my son, Badr. هو طالب. He's he's a student. هذا ابنتي. This is my daughter, Nada. Nada. هي طالبة. Right. هذا عمي حمزة. This is my uncle حمزة. هو طبيب. He's a doctor. So you just put هذا and you put a يا. Right. والدتي, my أخي, my brother, my sister. Similarly, خديجة سعيد سعيدة. وهي هي right that's how you make sentences التدريب exercise تبادل السؤال والجواب مع زميلك كما في الأمثلة like in the example you should have a colleague and then you practice like for example من هذا so هذا أحمد yeah ما هذا what is this so you don't say من for غير عقل. Use ما. What? Not who. Who is this? You don't say who is this for the masjid, right? You say what is this? This is a هذا مسجد. Similarly for feminine, we use هذه. من هذه? Who is this? هذه زينب. She is زينب. I mean, this is زينب. ما هذه? What is this? هذه صورة. This is a picture, a photo. Yeah. So then, ليلى. ليلى. What do you say? You have to make two questions. من هذه؟ Who's this؟ هذه ليلى. This is ليلى. Similarly, can anyone form the question and the answer? How do you say what is this and this is a tree? Oh. Right. ما هذه؟ Yes. What is this؟ You don't use man, okay? We use ما. ما هذه؟ So how do I say this is a tree? هذه شجرة شجرة يا فاين الحمد لله هذه شجرة this is a tree right see it's very easy Arabic's very easy الحمد لله من هذا who's this هذا عمر this is عمر من هذه who are these you should actually say oh you're talking about the family okay فاين من هذه who are these or who are this or actually should come من هؤلاء but I think it's fine. Has he usra? This is a family, right? You're talking about the family as a unit. That's why you're using has he. But you want to say well, who are these? That's also fine. Who are these people? Man haulain nas. Who are these people? You say has he usra. Ma ma hada. What is this? Hada hammam. This is the washroom, a bathroom. Man hada. Who is this? This is ma hada, right? Yeah. This is man hada. Who's this? Hada Ali. This is Ali. Ma hada. What is this? Hada Quran. Man hada he. Use hazi. You don't get confused between hada and hazi. It requires a lot of practice. Eh? If you don't think and just say the sentence, it will become muddled. You use hada for feminine or hazi for male and it will become very difficult. Man hada he. Who's this? Hada he Fatima. This is Fatima. This is Fatima. Okay. Okay, inshallah. Uh, please re-log in again. Uh, 40 minutes are up. Jazakallah khair. Uh, first, <coughs> re-log in again, please. Just type in the meeting ID again. You will be able to join again. Jazakallah khair. <coughs> Naam.
<clears throat> okay, let's continue to the next exercise. Yeah, التدريب الخامس the <clears throat> the fifth exercise. تبادل الحوار مع زميل. Yeah, if you have a colleague, if you have a friend, what do you do? You exchange the dialogue between your friends. You exchange the dialogue. And كما في المثال, as in the example, المثال هذا جدي عمار. This is my grandfather Ammar. وهذه جدتي آمنة. And this is my grandmother آمنة. أهلا وسهلا. مسجد مسجد أهلا وسهلا. So the first student tries to introduce his uncle, aunt, whatever. And the second says, Alan was Alan. So the second has no job just to say it. He just has to say, Alan was Alan. Okay. Alan was Alan. So what do you say? Hada Walidi Ahmad. This is my father, Ahmad. Hadi he Walidati Zainab. The second student says, Alan was Alan. Welcome. Hada Bni Ali. This is my son, Ali. Hadi Bnati Abla. This is my daughter. Is Ahmaduna Badal. In which sentence? No, no, it is khabar. If you, oh yes, it's a no, no, it's not a badal. Uh, the badal comes after. Is generally, <clears throat> is like hadal kitabu, hadal kitabu. You get a marifa form. And this is also actually marifa. The badal is the name which comes. The muaz is the badal. Like for example, hada walidi Ahmad. This is the badal. Yeah, this is the badal. Okay, the second word, the names are the badal because the sentence is complete. Hada Walidi, this is my father, and the sentence is complete. But you want to give more examples about it. I mean, you want to describe your, I mean, you want to tell the name. So, Ahmad is in the example. Yeah, Hada Jati Ammar. Oh, Ammarun. Oh, you said Ammarun. Yes, yes, yes. Ammarun is the badal. Yes. I thought Ammun. Um, Ammun. I thought you said Ammun. Yeah, Ammarun is the badal. Yes, yes, sorry. Ammarun. Yes, this is the badal. This is the badal. Yes, Naam, Naam. Uh, that's right. This is the badal. Okay. Yeah. The names are the badals. Naam. Hada Walidi Ahmad. This is my father, Ahmad. Hadihi Walidati Zainab. This is my, not father, yeah, father. And this is my mother, Zainab. Hada Bni Ali. This is my son, Ali. Hada Bnati Ablah. This is my daughter, Ablah. Hada Akhi, Umar. This is my brother, Umar. Hada Ukhti, Huda. This is my sister, Huda. She lost some of her teeth. Hada Ammi, Mu'ad. This is my uncle, Mu'ad. Hada Ammati Aziza. Oh, no, no, no. We don't use Haza Asi. We use Hazihi. Hadihi Ammati Aziza. Yeah. Hadihi Ammati Aziza. This is my aunt Aziza. Hadihi. Hadihi Ibnati. Yeah. Even here. Hadihi Ukhti. Yeah. You should say Hadihi. I mixed up. Hadihi Ibnati Abla. Hadihi Ukhti. Hadihi Ammati Aziza. Yeah. Not Haza. Right. Hadihi Walidati Zainab. Okay, you should be very careful, or else you'll mix it up like me. هذه أختي هدى هذه عمتي. Okay. التدريب أجيب عن الأسئلة التالية. Answer the following questions. من والد الرسول? Who is the father of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم? والد الرسول عبد الله. Right? عبد الله ابن المطلب. Or عبد الله ابن عبد المطلب. Actually, yeah. عبد الله ابن عبد المطلب. عبد المطلب. Okay, man walidu. Man walidatu rasul. Who is the mother of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Mother walidatuhu amina. Walidatuhu amina. Man jaddu rasul. Who is the grandfather? Jaddu. Who is the grandfather? Abdul Muttalib. Yeah, Abdul Muttalib. Man jaddu refers to grandfather. Man ammu rasul. Who is the uncle of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Man Ammur Rasool, Ammuhu, his uncle is 
تسمني انقل حم ابو طالب او حمزه او يا عباس ابو لهب من عم الرسول من ابن الرسول من ابن الرسول هو ذا سان او ذا فوتو يو كان سي عبد الله او ابراهيم نعم ابراهيم او ذس وان نو قاسم ذا اولدست سان از قاسم 3 سانز هي هذا قاسم عبد الله ابراهيم قاسم عبد الله ابراهيم كيو اي اي ذس از طيب بن طاهر اند اكشلي نيم اوف عبد الله اند هاو ماني دوتس فور هاو دو يو ريمبر ذيم فيري ايزي زد ار يو اف زينب رقيه نو فور فور دوتس زينب رقيه ام كلثوم اند فاطمه ان ذا اوردر اند كيو اي اي Qasim Abdullah and Ibrahim. Ibrahim was the youngest. And Qasim was the eldest. And they passed away. <clears throat> Now, QAI and ZRUF. Zainab Rukhiya Umm Kulsum. Fatima. That's how I remember. <laughs> Man Ibnatu Rasul. Who is the daughter? So, Ibnatu Hu. Rukhiya or Zainab or Fatima. Whoever. Man Waliduk. Man Waliduk. Who is your father? Yeah. Ka refers to your. Man Waliduka. Who's your father? Wali the whatever your father's name is. Wali the Javid, Ibrahim, or Ahmad, Muhammad. Man Jadduk. Who's your grandfather? Jaddi Abdul Ghaffar. My grandfather's name is Abdul Ghaffar. Right? Man Jaddi. Uh, I mean Jaddi Abdul Ghaffar. Man Jadduk. Who's your grandfather? Jaddi. My grandfather is whoever it is. Man Ammuk. Who's your uncle? Who's your uncle? So, Ami, my uncle is Khalid. My uncle is Khalid. I have seven uncles, six uncles. <laughs> Ami, Khalid, or Abdullah, so many I have. Man, Ami, uh, Man, Amuk, Ami, Khalid, or whatever. Man, Sadiqok, who's your friend? Sadiqi, uh, who's my friend? Sadiqi, Sadiqi, yes, my friend. Sadiqi Muhammad or Ahmed Ibrahim. Yeah, my friend is so and so, so and so, so and so. Right? You add a ya. Yeah. For example, if I write Ammi, my uncle, my aunt, my Ammi Khalid, for example. Where is Khaf? Oh my god. I keep, I should practice. Okay, Ammi Khalid. My uncle's Khalid. Right? Ammi. Man Jadduk. Jaddi. Right? Jaddi. You can just. Abdul. Oh, not like this. Abdul is like, like this. Abdul. Afar. Right? Abdul Afar. That's how. Abdul Afar. Okay. Hmm. تبادل الاسئله والاجوبه مع زميلك and this questions and answers we should exchange between the students the students should exchange the questions and answers between themselves right okay تبادل الاسئله والاجوبه مع زميلك that's it al khira reading exercises unzu wa istami wa iqra listen read and look unzu look Listen and read. So again, the vocabularies are coming. Right? So they keep repeating those vocabularies so that they get drilled into you, and you don't forget. Let's listen to the audio, page number forty-six. Yes. <clears throat> okay. That's how we complete each lesson, each unit text, as such. Listening to the audios, we have so many audios. الوحدة الثانية الأسرة الدرس الثاني عشر القراءة والكتابة أولا القراءة التدريب الأول انظر واستمع واقرأ والد والد فادر والدة والدة مدر أخ أخ برادر 
اخ سيستر ابن ابن سن ابنه ابنه دارتر عم عم انكل عم عم عانت بتانل جد 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 is all about finding the same word mutatabiqatayn the same word so yaqra comes here yaqra so match the following sil bainal kalimatayn match the following so where is musalla 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 ha oh musalla is here so this goes here ar rasul just the same word i don't know why they keep this There's no point. It's just for reading practice, I guess. Masjid. People who are new to reading Arabic, they might have some difficulties. Ibn. Ibn. Where is Ibn now? Ibn is here. Usra. Usra is here. Ibn. Ibn. Where is Ibn? Oh, the third one. Ibn. Yusalli. Where is Yusalli? First one. And Shajara. Shajara is... So left out one here. So this is how you just read reading practice for the ones who might find it difficult. <clears throat> okay. Next exercise. Atadribu salis. اقرا ثم دع علامه بجان خطا بجانب الكلمه المختلفه في كل مجمع كما في المثال so the odd one out uh, just reading practice واستمع واقرا هذا عمه احمد wait this is not the exercise this is just the just need to odd one out this is the odd one out جد جد جده سعيد سعيد سعيده This is the odd one out, right? Ibn, Ibn, Ibn. This is the odd one out, right? And the next one is also the same one. Just reading practice. Ada huwal mandi suhadi. The odd one out. So this is the odd one out. Mananta, Mananta, Mananti. Which one's the odd one out? The last one. Right? Very simple, I guess. Right? Just reading. Yaqda ul Quran, taqda ul Quran, yaqda ul Quran. Which is the odd one out? This one. Hada adan ul asa adan hada adan ul fir. Which one is the odd one out? The last one. Jim. <coughs> yeah. Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. This some reading practice for the big nerds because we are just in the second unit. So this is how it will be. Very very basic. Onzo ostame wakla. Yeah. This is just listening and reading. هو مهندس. So this was هذا عمه أحمد. This is his uncle أحمد. Yeah. You try to comprehend the meaning also. هذا عمه أحمد. هو مهندس. He's a he's an engineer. هذا عمه أحمد. He's an engineer. Right. So next next one. Just reading and understanding. عثمان في المسجد. يقرأ القرآن. عثمان is in the masjid. He is reciting the Quran. هذا أذان الفجر. هيا بنا إلى المسجد. This is the Fajr's azan. Let's go to the masjid. هيا بنا is like let's go to the masjid. فاطمة في الغرفة تصلي. فاطمة is in the room. She is praying. محمود في البيت يتوضأ. محمود is in the house. He is doing wudu. هذا أخي عمار. This is my brother. هو معلم. عمار and he's a teacher. انتهت الوحدة. انتهت الوحدة and we are done with the وحدة. Just some random exercise left. Um, what is this exercise? سلبنا الجملة تاني. The same thing again. Just match the following. هي تصلي goes to هي تصلي. هذا جدي goes to هذا جدي. هو يصلي goes here. هذا والدي where's هذا والدي in the last one هذا جدته 
this this is his grandfather and this goes here just the same sentences you just need to match them al kitaba this is writing practice ba is written like this in the beginning in between it is written like this and the end is written like this ta is written like this 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 and bi khairin tabib talib so the ones ba 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 ta 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 right tabib tabib so you start like this and then you go like this so tabib talib talib right anta tawb you just some writing practice ba 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 ta ta ba ta ta ba ba tawadda thalatha sab'a these are some words to practice for writing tis'a thalatha hayya bina and what uktub fi da'at al-huruf alladhi tantahi bihi al-kalimat you just need to write the words the letters which are the, which are at the end ta ta is here talib this is ba this is dal masjid all the words are ending with dal and this is ta salisun qurrasun salasun hadisun yeah these are the words which are ending with sa sa ta hmm al ard ard the second one display the second presentation or ta how do you like ta like this ta so in the end in the beginning and alif and stuff and fatima how do you write fatima right fatima khayt khayt is like tent zufr zufr nail nazara nazara and how do you write ta like this ta 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 right salla talibun tabibun this is just writing practice hammamun akbar walid ala khayt and this is match the following you just match the uh, the same letters yeah wow wow just for some reading practice sa sa where where it goes ba goes here zai where zai azza was here da abra is ra here dal dal goes here hamza hamza alif goes here wa Ba goes so far away. Ta is here. That's it. So just match the following. In sahil hodo fatale copy. In sahil is like copy. And the other word is uh, for in sahil is uh, <coughs> is nasikh wa mansukh. Yeah, abrogation. The two meanings of the word nasakha. Cut is also used, I guess. Yeah, in sah. So, but now it's like just like copy. Just trace. the letters uh, hamza ba ta sa <coughs> okay inshallah and we have an exam so by next week please do this exam after revising the first few two units inshallah i will send the screenshot of this page these two pages in the group inshallah and we will discuss this question paper um, next week okay i'll just tell you what you have to do the first one you just need to group the words how do you group them like balad what are the countries these are the words you just need to write it like the countries names over here yeah all the countries here damir damir's here all the pronouns yeah rakam all the numbers here usra all the family members here makan place all the places here like gorfa and all and mehna mehna is like job occupation ya yeah, mehna mehna you all all the mehnatun you right here right from these words that's it you just need to do this then akmil al jumla bi kalimat at taliya using these words you need to complete the sentence so you need not show me the answers uh, you you keep the answers with yourself when we come back to this test inshallah to discuss you can correct yourself if there's any mistake you just complete the sentences using these words the alamat ala kalimat al ghadiba odd one out you just need to choose the odd one out yeah choose the odd one out like something is odd here you just need to choose the odd one out next the sanian at taqib na sahih al akhta there are some errors here some mistakes here you need to find out you should become a detective and find the errors yeah find the errors 
at us um, find some akhta akhta refers to mistakes there are some mistakes here okay you need to find those mistakes next match the following you need to match the following according to the meaning yeah match the following then ikhtari kalimat sahiha choose the correct words between these two hmm? you have option 1 option 2 which one can come here right so this will give give you give good practice of the pronouns the vocabs and stuff but do it only after you read these 52 pages yeah. <laughs> after completing the first units so if you revise those first two units this week then you can attempt this paper okay chalo or if it's easy already for you you've already revised it then you can directly attempt this paper how do you attempt it if you don't have the textbook i mean you don't have the hard copy you can uh, just balad you can write it in a notebook right akmal the first answer is this second is this third is this and then we can discuss the answers next week inshallah at the next wednesday class i'm giving you one week to finish the similarly we will do each two units in the same way every two units has an exam and after we finish eight units we have a final exam yeah where you revise all the eight lessons and then you write the exam it is a self examination yeah self assessment you need not show it to me inshallah just that you just need to it gives you a good revision of all the units so once you do the first few units revision we won't come back to it yeah we won't come back to those units again it's like done that's it we close and then we go forward to the third unit inshallah today i'd like to show you some examples of mudaf mudafile and those rules which i talked about for the next half an hour to 45 minutes inshallah the rules which we spoken about we won't start the next unit we will start it tomorrow inshallah the third unit is what is the third unit like we have a family now we want to stay in at some place so this is sakan yeah a sakan yeah residence a sakan this is the third unit inshallah we will be begin to tomorrow today we'll just have some just some revision of the notes uh, the grammar rules and stuff mm -hmm. just one moment i'll open just some basic grammar rules which we can do okay this is the notes which if you want i can send it in the group it's of madina books madina book notes of volume 1 right so this teaches you so many things so we will be using this in our madina classes also and i thought it will be better if i show you over here also so that you get at least a brief idea although it will come in the book uh, in the future inshallah so there are english has eight parts of speech a noun pronoun adjective adverb interjection verb conjunction preposition and because only three parts of speech always a noun verb and particle so uh, a noun pronoun and adjective adverb interjection they all come under ismun they all come under ismun yeah they all come under a noun ism while a verb it the verb comes under fa'il and and a conjunction and a preposition comes under half half okay so there are three parts of speech we've already done these three yeah ismu fa'il half ismu fa'il half right ismu fa'il half arabic alphabets arabic has 29 letters of the alphabet 28 consonants alif has two purposes the alif yeah elongates a consonant like for example uh, it's called alif madda kitabun this is an alif right here it just elongates and sometimes it becomes a seat uh, for the it becomes a kursi for the hamza it becomes hamzatul khata this hamza is called hamzatul khata right it's not wasl wasl is like like ibnun for joining purposes yeah, just just a line and this is hamzatul khata so these are the 28 letters in arabic 29 actually because yeah 29 hamza is acted as a separate one and uh, the 28 consonants apart from alif these are all consonants yeah 29 letters yeah this is this is the vowel actually okay this is called a vowel but it's like a long vowel long vowel okay next arabic vowel signs yes bearer of harakat naam the vowels are uh, fatha damma kasra right arabic has three short vowels damma fatha kasra like in english we have a e i o u the here we have this is signs damma fatha kasra these are the vowels this like muhandisun dhamma is like 
Pesh, or Fatha, Zabad, and Kasra. Kasra. Hmm? Either because three short vowels. Long vowels are uh, the Vau Madda, Alif Madda, and Ya Madda. Like, for example, Maftuhan. This is U. Yeah? It, it generally doesn't have a uh, haraka on it. It doesn't have a, an a haraka on it. No tashkil on it. No sign. Maftuhan. The wow to elongate the ma, like oo sound, right? Oo sound. And a sound, babun. Babun. You, you won't put a tashkil on it. Babun. Because this has a sukun by default. This wow has a sukun. This alif has a sukun. And this ya has a kamisun. Ya too. These are the three long vowels. Madda. Vau madda, alif madda, and ya madda. And there's a sukun. There's a sukun. If you don't have, if any letter doesn't have anything, so by default, you should assume that it has a sukun. It has a sukun by default. You need not write the sukun all the time. But we could, uh, if there's nothing on it, then you should assume that it has a sukun. There's no vowel on it. Hmm? Absence of a vowel sign is denoted by a sukun. So this is just the basic vowels of Arabic vowel signs. Next, we have indefinite, indefinite. How do you identify indefinite, indefinite? So this also we've done before. It's just like, summarizing of all the rules like english arabic nouns can be indefinite the indefinite name is called the nakira right nakira and the ma'rifa or the definite right uh, indefinite refers to something like a house you don't know you're not specifying any house the house is like definite okay this is the house right so how do you know an indefinite noun in arabic in arabic by a tanween what's the tanween which doubles the vowel sign at the end. If you have a double vowel sign, this is called tanween at the end of the word. For example, kitabun, this is a tanween. So how do you know it's a book? By looking at this tanween, this, this tanween, this small thing here, kitabun, it's a book. I mean, it could be any book. It's like indefinite. I mean, majhul, we don't know which book it is. A chair, kursi yun, tanween, right? tanween, kursi yun. So this is how you identify. This is called nakira. It's like majhul, we don't know. Nakira. Nakira. Ma'arifa is like we know. Arafa ya'arifu ma'arifa. Right? We know what we are talking about. So how do you find out? Al. You add an al to it. A definite noun is indicated by al. By al prefix to the noun. Yeah? By al. For example, tanween. Uh, and what happens if you add an al? We have to remove the tanween. We have to put only one dhamma or one fatha. Right? For example, al kitabu. Al kitabu. Al kursi you. Right? Al kitabu, al kursi you. Yeah. Simple. So, kitabun and al kitabu, they both can't exist together. Like, you can't have, you can't say al kitabun, it's wrong. Like, for, for example, in English, you can't say um, a the book. You can't say the a book, it's wrong. It could either be the book, it could either be a book. Yeah? So, similarly in Arabic, al kitabun is wrong. If there is Al, the Tanween cannot exist. Yeah? Tanween cannot be there. Al Kitabun, Al Kitabu. Kursi Yun, Al Kursi Yu. There's only one Dhamma. That's it. Huh? Al and Tanween cannot coexist. They both cannot come together. So Al Kitabun is incorrect. Al Kitabun is wrong. It's totally wrong. This is not possible. Hmm? Hmm? Please note. The next point is last point. Please note many proper nouns also have uh, masculine nouns have tanween. Like for example, Khalidun, Muhammadun. These are the exceptions. End with tanween. They have tanween, but they are still definite. Hmm? They have tanween. So you might say Muhammadun is, in, uh, Muhammadun is indefinite, but it's not. It is definite. Why is it definite? Because it's a name. All proper nouns are names. I mean, are definite. All proper nouns because Khalidun fil bayti. Khalid is in the house. So it makes it clear that you know Khalid. Yeah? You know that person, Khalid or whoever it is. So even though they have tanween at the end, you should not say these are indefinite. No, it's a it's an it's a definite uh, ism. Okay. So this is what we learned. <clears throat> Next is Hada and Zalika. We have not learned Zalika as such in the lesson, but I'll just introduce. Zalika is that. That's it. Zalika is that. Hada is this. 
and this these are demonstrative pronouns ismali shara yeah demonstrative pronoun for example zalika babun that is a do zalika babun so haza is like ismali shara til al qareeb the qareeb is like uh, the closest thing haza you want to point out something ishara refers to you, you want to point something out this huh? and for, that is for used for the closest thing or closer thing and the far thing the far thing is called baid ismul isharat lil baid for far for far you use that zalika 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 right zalika and these two also are definite also are definite hmm? like all pronouns these are definite so you might have a question that just now we learned that they has to have al to make it definite then how are these definite right and is definite so there are actually seven types of uh, definite uh, forms seven okay seven uh, it's like al yeah then alam al alamu alam refers to proper nouns like we learned just now seven types al alamu wad dhamir pronouns pronouns are also definite for example if you say he she you know who you are talking about so that's why it's definite yeah al alamu wad dhamiru wal ishara Just now we learned uh, this is ishara like haza hazihi zalika haulai ulaika al alam wa dhamir wa ishara wa al mausul mausul is also mausul is like al lazina right those who do this ya ayuha al ladina amanu so that also has an alif lam so that's why that is also ma'rifa that is also definite right And al alim wa dhamir wa lishan wa mausulu al idafa. Idafa is also like if you have a mudaf mudaf relationship, idafa. Yeah, that is also ma'rifa. That is also ma'rifa. Al alim how many six six more? Wa yau ya ya munada munada is also the last one munada munada is also Ma'arif. For example, you are calling someone. Yeah, Rajul. Oh man. So you you know who that man is, or at least you see him. That's why that is definite. So these are seven forms of definite. Uh, Ma'arifah it's called. Yeah, definite nouns. Definite. Definite in the sense you know what you are talking about, right? You know the subject is not unknown. It's not like you are speaking about something, and we are not able to specify. we are able to specify in these examples okay these are seven types so in this a pronoun also comes over here and ishara also comes the pronouns are always definite he she right and uh, ishara also comes over here right these are the seven types of uh which are not important see all these rules are not important for you to understand If you understand a little bit, it's okay. It'll come in the lessons, inshallah. I mean, it'll come in the book two of our Allah Rabbi Al Bayna. I think, but I want you to understand a little bit. Uh, how many pages do we have? Seventy-eight pages of this book. I'll try to do at least five to six pages whenever I feel like, right? Or maybe ten, twelve pages, whenever we have time, so that at least you have a grip of what's happening, of the grammar. Okay. So, like all pronouns, these are definite. These are masculine. We use haza and zalika for masculine, right? Masculine. That is, these are used when pointing to masculine nouns. When you're using for masculine nouns, they have feminine counterparts, which we will learn later. Haza and zalika are pronounced haza and zalika. So you don't write haza as like this and zalika as like this. It's just written as haza zalika, without the alif, without the alif. It's not haza and zalika. It's written like that because it's easy. It's easy like this. Uh, um, Arabs usually, when they have to write so like one word so many times, what what do they do is they uh, make it easy. They, if you write a ha za like this, you just need to have a gap between the words. So what they did was they removed that alif. Yeah, they removed it. Okay, they written without the alif. So for example, ha za kitabun. This is a book. This is a book. Next point is ma versus man. Ma versus man. Ma is used for غير عقل. Used for irrational things, غير عقل. Non-living things. We did this. Animals, plants, etc. Ma has a. What is this? Man. Man is used for rational beings. عقل. These include Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, human beings, jinns, angels. 
for example you ask manhaza you, you can't say for um, human beings mahaza you can't use ma for these people and you can't use man for these things yeah? this we have done right man ma uh, particle of interrogation and answer so how do you ask a question right uh, for example hada baitun this is a house how do you say is this a house you say ah you add a ah this is a particle for interrogation of asking a question you see hada baitun you want to ask ah hada baitun is this a house so you add a hamzatul istifham is called hamzatul istifham and istifham is like asking a question prefixing ah ah anta tabibun are you a doctor right and you can add hal also like we learned hal anta tabibun hal right hal hal and generally these questions the answer should be yes or no yes or no like for example are you a doctor you can either say yes or no so that's what he says used in this context hamza this hamza is called harful istifham yeah particle of interrogation istifham is like interrogation you want to ask them questions and la means no so the answer should always be yes or no right you can't have third things right are you this so you say yes or no. Ah, the baitun. Is this a house? Yes. Is this a house? Nam, ha the baitun. Allah, ha the, ha the. This is not a house. This is a ha the maktabun. This is an office. La and nam, la and nam refers to yes and no. This is called holoful jawab, particles of answer. You want to answer some questions and holoful jawab, holoful jawab. So this is like just simple. How do you ask questions and stuff? Ah, ha the baitun. Helpful stuff, ham and stuff. Right, inshallah. The next thing is Sola versus Luna letters. So this is like more of Tajweed, Tajweed rules. The Tajweed rules, right? How do you pronounce this? Uh, the Luna letters or Moon letters and Sun letters? Yeah, Al Kamaru, Al Kamaru. There are fourteen Sola and fourteen Luna letters, right? Ash Shamsu. So you see, you, you don't pronounce this at Lam, Lam. So how do you know which one is which? You just see a tajdid. If there's a tajdid here, you know it's shamsiya. Shamsiya is like sola letters. Yeah, ash shamsu, al khamadu. Yeah, you say al. Why? Why did did the? Why did these people do such a differentiation? Is it's just because they wanted to <clears throat> um, uh, have the pronunciation more easier. Yeah, to pronounce it more easier. That's why they made this difference. That's why they made this difference. Right, because if you have akkamaru, it's like it sounds very weird. And if you say al shamsu, the lam, the and sheen have the makhadij, the pronunciation point very close. See, al shamsu, it sounds very weird. So that's why ash shamsu, the lam is not pronounced in these letters. The the al huruf shamsiya, the lam is not pronounced. <clears throat> Here we pronounce. Eh? So there are fourteen like this: al abu, the father; al babu, the door. We pronounce the lam here. These are these are the moon letters. Al Amza, Ba Al Jannatu, the Janna. Al Hamal, the donkey. Al Khubzu, the bread. Al Ain. Ain is like a river. Al Ainu. Al Gadau. Gada is like breakfast. Gada. Or no, it's like lunch. Yeah. Al Gada, lunch. Breakfast is fatur. Al Fam, the mouth. Al Khamal, half. Al Khamar, Al Kal, the dog, Al Ma'u, the water, Al Waladu, the boy, Al Hawa'u, the air, Al Yadu, the hand, and this is Shamsiya, Al Shamsu, Al Sadru, Al Thawu, Al Diku, the rooster, Al Dhabu, Al Dhabu is like gold, Al Rajulu, the man, Al Zahratu, Al Samak. You don't pronounce these are Shamsiya, Shamsiya, right? So I hope you know all these letters, Al Shamsu, Al Sadru, Al Dhaifu. الطالب الزهر زهر is like the bag اللحم النجم the moon الضيف is like the guest الصدر the chest الشمس the sun and so on okay and so on so now in endings and um, okay we will do only till here last thing over here of today the now in endings inshallah we will continue whenever we find time again inshallah I will send this notes uh, these this notes in Okay, let's just do this uh, noun endings. 
and then we'll have we'll call it a night inshallah <coughs> so how do you know the case endings in arabic noun endings you just uh, look at the endings of the word in arabic nouns have different endings to share the show their function in the sentence yeah in arabic nouns have different endings to show their function in a sentence and these are called noun cases or case endings these are called arab arab these are called the endings arab right the endings right for example uh, there are three cases we've learned before madfu'un mansubun majdudun if when you look at the endings we know what the function it does in the sentence for example the madfu' the nominative it's called the nominative in english language or the madfu' in arabic ending it ends with dhamma so by default this is the this is the default state which uh, an ism should have which an ism should have this is the default state the dhamma state yeah and what does it do generally in a sentence in a normal sentence it acts as a subject subject Yeah, not the predicate or the predicate also. Like for example, Al Kitabu, Kitabun, Muhammadun, Babun. You see, these all are, all have Dhamma, Dhamma, Dhamma. Either one or either two, whatever. One or two, whatever. Right? Kitabu, Kitabun, Muhammadun, Babun, whatever. So this, these are this is Madfu'un. It's called Madfu'un. And this is Al Kitaba, Kitaban, Muhammadan, Babun. Yeah, this is mansub, okay, and the last one is majrur, which has a kasra. So, what does a mansub do? Generally, it acts as an object of a verb. Yeah, for example, I ate an apple, so the apple akal to tufaha. Tufaha is generally mansub, okay. Why? Because it's the object. Like the result of the action is on the apple, so the apple is the object. It's called mafulun bihi. We'll be learning inshallah. Majrur, like genitive, genitive case. Possessor of a thing, like mudaf on the al kitabi kitabin Muhammadin babin. You see, if I have a kasra, so always remember the default it should be dhamma. If it's becoming fatha, you should always ask the question: Why is it becoming fatha? All kasra, whatever, yeah, all kasra. You should always ask the question: Why is it becoming fatha and why is it becoming kasra and stuff? Okay, because there has to be a reason. Without reason, doesn't change from dhamma to a fatha. Al kitaba, there has to be there. For example, ashhadu anna Muhammadan. It's anna because of anna it became Muhammadan. Okay, la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. This is the default state. Muhammadun. Yeah. Okay, so there has to be a reason why it's becoming Muhammadun, Muhammadan, and Muhammadin. The default state is madfur. Mansub and maj, uh, the default is maf mafu, and the other ones are mansub and majur. Mansub is like two fathas, majur two kasras. Okay, very simple. Um, okay, and this this will do in the future. Inshallah, that's it for today. Inshallah, Taala. Now we will do the third lesson. I mean, third unit tomorrow. Inshallah. Okay, if there's a, there are any questions, uh, Inshallah. Hmm. In this way, we will progress. Inshallah, I've been reading the second book, Part B. I read till here. Right. I'm just going ahead. Anwa al types of pollution. So this is just the second book. So there's so much to read. Alhamdulillah. So don't worry, Inshallah, uh, for the vocabs and stuff. And uh, Inshallah, we will learn slowly. Even I have not read these books. I mean, the second, third book. I just uh, finished the first book long time back. This is the second book which I'm reading, so that I'll be ready when it comes next year. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is like Huna ka suwan adi dal tala wasil biya. Ah, muha tala wasil hawa, tala wasil ma, tala wasil turba, tawba. There's so many types of uh, pollutions. Tala wasil ma, hawa, air pollution, water pollution, sand pollution, or land pollution, sound pollution. This gives you so many examples. This is the second book, Part B. Inshallah, yeah, we will reach that one day. Inshallah, right. this is my goal too. Okay. No, uh, and then they give you Arabic rules and stuff, and pollution, security. There's so many things happening here. 
Inshallah, we will reach there. But that's far away. We are still in book one. Inshallah, as second. In this, in this, they will increase um, the verbs. For example, aina taskuno. Where do you live? They'll increase the verbs. And taskuno is like living. Where do you live? Askuno fil hayy al matar. I live in the area of the airport and living and stuff. And then they'll buy some stuff. I guess furniture. The next one, asamai. Only do shakatan min I want and I want a flat apartment. We have a beautiful apartment. So they buy an apartment or flat. And then we have uh, the last thing is what? They buy furniture for the house. Right? All this furniture and stuff. They want a furniture. They want a, a mirror, miratun and stuff. Inshallah, we will be doing. And they'll repeat the vocab so many times. Inshallah. I hope the vocabs of second lesson have been drilled into inshallah so that you have no issues grandfather grandmother and stuff inshallah okay any questions for today hal ka sual if there are no questions jazakallah khair may allah accept our efforts inshallah and help us increase in knowledge inshallah and learning Arabic language and learning the Quran. It's very important. Najibu Ali and Nafham al Quran. The Prophet will say on the day of judgment, Oh my Lord, uh, my, my, my people have taken, the, have left the Quran. We don't want to be among them, inshallah. They have been hijrat from the Quran. Inshallah, Jalakallah khair, Barakallah fiqh. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Inshallah, Jalakallah, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruk wa atubu laik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. كانوا قليلا ما